guys! Today I'm going to be attempting to draw a couple more <laughs> Undertale characters. I know I've been drawing a lot of Undertale characters lately, but that's because I'm kind of playing through the game and I'm kind of hyped to draw them because I like the game and that means I like the characters and drawing them sounds like fun. So I hope this isn't like getting boring, but I really wanted to try drawing Toriel. As you can see, I'm starting out with Toriel. Though I have never drawn many animal humans. I have not done that much. Like she's a humanoid goat, I believe. I think she's a goat. And I have never done that much. And so I wanted to do a couple of quick sketches here of the different characters. And I'm sorry if it is strange looking because I am not one to draw animal people. I've never really done it. So I wanted to do Toriel really bad. I also wanted to try Asgore sometime, but I couldn't fit him into this video because there were like a lot of characters I wanted to try drawing. And of course Toriel was on the top of my list because Toriel is my favorite character by far in the entire game. And I just really love her character. I mean, I haven't played Genocide yet, so I don't know if I dislike any characters while going through that or if my opinions will change. So I'm just telling you from what I know about going through neutral and pacifist. So um, as you can see, I'm just kind of like shading her face. <laughs> she is, um, well, I, I was calling her goat mom and then I realized that everyone calls her goat mom. Apparently that is actually one of her nicknames. I did not know that, but her outfit looks like a big flat dress. And I did not know how to make it look normal, especially in like an actual different style from pixels. So I'm sorry if it looks strange. And I didn't know what to do for her neck as you can't see her neck in the pixel drawing. And yeah, I didn't know what to do about that. But I did decide I wanted to give her those big long sleeves as you can see she has. And I kind of made her look like she's a Jedi now that I think about it. But <laughs> it could have been weirder, right? I, I always, I feel a little bad for Asgore because, you know, Toriel, obviously they were like happy little family, but then Asgore went rage mode when his kids died and he like hates humanity for it and all that and wants to get back at them, but all in all the wrong way. And that Toriel, I think, is the most kind and on the right side of everything. Like she is never on the wrong side. She's always trying to do things the best way possible. Like, unlike characters like Asgore, they have, like, they want to go kill everybody. Or Undyne, they also want to go kill everybody. She was just super kind the entire time and was reasonable. So that's why one of the reasons she's my favorite character. Um, though I understand now why a lot of people were saying how I would understand why Flowey is some people's favorite character. And that is because... Wow, after I finished the game today, and I'm shook. Okay, we're starting off here again with Metaton. All right, well, you're probably wondering why there's a huge skip in the drawing there. That's because <laughs> I forgot to record it. I'm sorry, I do that a lot. But I decided to add little Napstablook to join him because Napstablook's his cousin, right? Pretty sure, because Metaton is, was originally just a soul or ghost, and then decided to possess a robot, I believe. And then Alphys decided to create him a new body, and now he looks like, well, Metaton. Yeah. So that's why there's two of them here. So as I was saying, I just finished the game, and I was so... Oh my gosh, it's so dang emotional. I just finished the pacifist route, and I'm thinking about doing genocide. You guys will see the pacifist ending tonight, but oh my goodness, I was shook. I'm not going to tell you anything because if you haven't played the game before, you probably, I'm pretty sure everyone has played the game before, right? I mean, I'm late. I'm very late to this game. So if you haven't seen it before, you're like me. You're very late. <laughs> and this game was super popular. Like, I don't know. Was it like a few years ago or a year ago? I don't remember when it was super popular, but yeah, I never got to play it. I was late. <laughs> <laughs> Metaton here, he's in a very um fabulous pose, as you can see. I wasn't sure how to pose him, but I wanted to give him, like, his microphone. And I also added his heart. You know, you can see his heart through him in the front. I wanted to make it so, like, you could see it from the back as well. So, as you can see, I put just put a hole through his torso <laughs> or his stomach. I, I was trying to go with his style. I was unsure about how to collar him too. Like you can see how his character model is in the game, but in black and white. And you can't see the collars. 
So everyone has different color ideas because you can only see the color of like his torso and stuff when after you ripped his legs and arms off. So everything's kind of a little bit of a guess, I believe, but I think it's close to what it's supposed to be. Let me know if it isn't <laughs> because I was trying to make it accurate. I'm not sure if I did. Napstablook is super cute. He's one of my favorite characters too, simply because he's relatable because he's so darn awkward. He's that awkward little sad guy, and I know he's sad because he just wanted to have family, but all his family left him, and he's all alone on his little ranch, and that's kind of sad. But happily, at the end, he got to sing with Metaton and do his awesome DJ skills. So that was cute. It was so adorable. Metaton here, he has like this long hair covering one of his eyes, and he has all his eyelashes are seen on the bottom of his eye instead of the top. So I was like... That's weird. And I also, I, I, everyone has different opinions. And some people are like, Metaton's a girl. And other people are like, Metaton's a dude. And I'm like, I, Metaton had a dude's voice when he was all like, oh yeah. So I'm pretty sure he's a guy. So, but I apparently everyone has different opinions on that because when you go to his house though, it was all pink, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's a girl. I mean, I'm pretty sure Metaton is a dude. I mean, pretty positive. I'd let me know if I'm wrong, but it seemed pretty obvious it was a man when I was playing through at least. And yeah, little naps to fluke there. He's so gutly. I wanted to make him look like he was happy for once because he's always so depressed and that's that's not cool. Naps to fluke needs to be happy. He, he's never happy. We're almost done there. Okay, and now we're on to, as you can see, I'm going to attempt to drawing Gaster. Gaster is a character who is not really in the game, as you guys probably already know, because you've probably played the game a thousand times and are super big fans of this game. And I do not know much about the game whatsoever, so I'm going to aggravate a few people <laughs> as I talk. <laughs> Sorry. And Gaster is a character that is, well, not really in the game a lot as a main character, but a hidden character. Some people think he's Sans' dad. Other people say he created Sans and Papyrus. Everyone seems to have different opinions of what he is. But what is canon, I believe, is that he is the scientist, the royal scientist before Alfie's. And he fell into his own creation and died or fell into, like, the void or something. I don't think, I don't know if he died or not. So as you can see, the model of the character shown in the game is... A very small pixel character it wasn't one of the big blown up ones like in a fight with half the characters like the other drawings you saw the pixel drawings in this video were the big blown up ones from when you're in a battle only colored him I think he was only ever in a little overworld pixel character he was only ever a small little sprite so there's not a lot of detail and I was not sure what to put him in. So I looked online and see how other people drew him and some people gave him a lot of different outfits. Some people use laboratory coats, other people gave him sweaters. I kind of did a mix of the two. But uh, yeah, there's not a lot of detail to go by. All I can tell is that there's like holes in his hands and his face is a very mangled white face. And I'm going to assume he's a skeleton since he was a normal scientist and there's only I'm, everyone was drawing him as if he was a skeleton like Sands of Papyrus, so I went with that as well. Um, I do not know much about him. I know that it's so creepy that he was just like a character that you can only find very rarely. Like, there's this, you know how like when you enter the game and you have little surprises, like maybe, whoa, someone called me. Like that one time Sands called me and asked me something about my refrigerator. Yeah, that's a little random crap that has a chance of occurring that's really rare. But apparently, he has a very rare occurrence as well, and I, I'm surprised anyone figured out about him and all the secrets, because that sounds so hard to figure out. Like, people found out that there's a secret board missing, one of the numbered boards in the true lab, and it's hidden somewhere that you have to mess with the code in order to get there to find it. And I'm pretty sure his name is W.D. Gaster, because uh, my friend told me it's because of the font wingdings i believe is that what they call uh, it's a font and kind of like comic sans and papyrus uh, i think they're all named after fonts is that true i mean if that's true that is very strange but also really original like no one has done that before that's one thing about undertale it's very original it when i played through that game i mean especially pacifist i felt like wow i wouldn't have even thought of i wouldn't have thought of any of this stuff when you play a game and you think wow i could have done that better it's kind of like pulls you out and you're like 
It's so badly made. But Undertale, it felt so genius. Like, how the heck did they come up with some of that stuff? It Like, especially Gaster. He's so... Um, I didn't know... I would have no idea he existed if it wasn't for my friend who is a huge Undertale fan and knows all the little secrets and is obsessed with all the different theories and stuff. And I believe we're all done. Yes! Let me know which one of these drawings you like the best, if any at all. I know they're just fast little sketches. I kind of had to hurry and do them all in one day because I put it off. I'm sorry. I was busy with the new animations and stuff that we're doing. I have a lot of fun doing the role plays. Those role plays are so much fun for me, but I kind of put off drawing and had to do it all in one day and it took me forever. And yeah, that's why they're all sketchy and not so good. I'm sorry. But let me know which ones you like and... Let me know what you'd like me to draw next. Thank you guys so much for watching.